aspirants whom Buhari asked to resign are to withdraw from the race before May the 16th. Hello, my wonderful people. Yeah, President Muhammad Buhari has finally spoken. And if you've been following us, this guy has the capacity to rule if he wants to. Okay? I mean, what is leadership? Speaking, effective communication, and making sure that the communication is being understood and is followed accordingly. Yeah? Now, a lot of things have happened in this country, and where you expect the president to speak is as silent as a mouse. He says not a single word, not even to the killings and all the numerous atrocities and activities going on, you know, in the country that one will expect that the president will speak on. He won't say a single word. And so a lot of people have been very skeptical and worried. What, where does the president really stand? Well, his information or leadership is coming a bit too late, if you ask me. Why do I say that? According to the APC uh, ticket and all that is going on, there is a timeline okay, within which certain things must happen. And within those timelines, those people who are to resign now, who are interested in one presidential race or another, may not be meeting up to the scheme of things because they have failed okay, to meet up to this very timeline. So these are things going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. As parents whom Buhari have asked to resign are to withdraw from the race before May the 16th. After President Muhammad Buhari asked all aspirants in his cabinet that are jittering for a political position across Nigeria to resign, there have been a lot of reactions from Nigerians. Many have suggested that in the few days to come before the deadline st stated by the president, many of the aspirants will withdraw from their respective race. Even though the, these cabinet members, such as Minister of Transportation, Roti Miyamechi, Minister of Niger Delta, Godwin Akpabio, Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ngege, Minister of Science and Technology, Oni, Minister of State for Education, Emeka, Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Tenebra Savannah, Minister of Mines and Steel Development, Uche Ogba, Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline, Tell her Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, are very strong in the presidency. Some of them are politically irritated, irrelevant in their region or state. Some of these aspirants might just want to use the declaration to gain popularity among Nigerians. A situation that will lead them to withdraw before the withdrawal date given to them by President Muhammad Buhari. But Buhari's directives for contesting political appointees to resign, we are going to witness their withdrawal from political contests in the coming days, especially among presidential aspirants. None of them has the belly to forego the one-year free money before the elections. None of them practically does. The last, the last year is often when rockets are finalized by the political virtues with contract to generate fat bank accounts, kickbacks, and all. These are corruptions, deep corruptions, and conclusion in regards to money gathering are mostly done. Favorable conditions, asking for people to, to support are all favorably done, and these are the time many of them stands to withdraw immediately. So, President Muhammad Buhari has already given the directives and many of them stand to withdraw. Okay, many of them stand to withdraw with respect to how things currently are at the minute. Many of them stand to withdraw because if they don't, they may not have it sweet or easy. Okay, they may not have it that easy. Many of them stand to withdraw. Uh, but guess what? Why are they withdrawing? These are the times when they make, you know, all those, uh, these are the times they get to make all those, you know, uh, ambition, 
uh, they're getting political uh, accreditation here and there. They're getting all the contracts, speaking to people, trying to get everything that they can possibly get. These are the times they do all that um, political jamboree, you know, where they begin to negotiate. I want to come back. How are you going to help me? I want to do this. How are you going to help me? These are the times where they do all such, all sorts. And so if uh, most of them, honestly speaking, are not even known in their state, to be quite candid, they are not even known in their state. Okay. So these are some of the things going on. Okay, these are some of the things going on. So, my wonderful people, we are going to continue to bring you up to speed as all these matters unfold. Remember that every one of us must continue to speak out against wrongdoing and anything and everything that could potentially not bring us to that very desired point of space where we are a people and we can really make decisive decisions that could affect our future. The country today where we are, the things that have gone on and all that is happening, is that these are clear indications, okay, that, you know, things you thought, you know, people could just get over with and just, you know, have a walk in the park, it may not be business as usual. As the days upon us, you know, uh, there is political chess really ongoing, okay, a lot of persons, a lot of people are beginning to, you know, play this chess and really begin to uh, re-examine the whole thing and give a real uh, reason, you know, looking at it and saying, what can we do? How do I come in? What do we need to do? Okay, so these are, I mean, situations and things happening. You know, these are real issues ongoing right now. So we'll keep you up to speed more as the matter unfolds. You know, a lot of uh, political appointees are dittering at the moment because that means they, if they resign now, there is no salary, yeah? There is no salary for the next one year for them. Yeah, there's no salary. There's no salary for the next one year for them. So most of them don't want to live without that money. You know, the money that comes in and as the elections are going, a lot of money will be released to them. A lot of things will be happening. There is no such things. Okay, there are really no such things. So these are part of the things, you know, that are ongoing right now. We'll keep you more up to speed as the matter unfolds. Yeah, we'll keep you more up to speed. But the truth of the matter is we must continue to you know, envisage and look out for good governance that could possibly, you know, turn this nation around. A lot, a lot of the time we have been hindered, pushed back. You know, a lot of things have gone on and, um, you know, we need to be strong and vote if for any reason our vote counts. Because you and I know that to a large extent, it feels like our votes do not hold water. It feels like our votes do not stand or does not count. That's the way it feels, honestly speaking, you know. That's the way it feels. Anyway, my wonderful people, leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.